Hi and welcome to another Dex from the Graphic Design School. My name is Leanne and today we're going to be creating artwork for a band using Photoshop Liquify tool. I'll be showing you how to create it from an image and then applying it to a record sleeve like you can see here. But what really inspired me was how I was looking at music on music apps, so the artwork accompanying the music. So I'll show you how to find some uh, mockups for Android and for desktop and applying your artwork to that and then using smart layers to quickly change the image for a different band. This is what our artwork will look like in the end. Uh, but we'll start with getting our image from Unsplash. So if you go into your browser, this is the image that I've selected that we'll use to create that cover that you just saw. So this is by Lacey Slezak. And make sure that when you download an image from Unsplash that you do credit the photographer. So you just go download free and you can download it into your images. It also gives you an option to say thanks. So you can just copy photo by Lacey Slezak on Unsplash and that way you've got it um, credited already. We'll then go into Photoshop. If you open up Photoshop, there's my image there. Um, the image is my background at the moment, so I'm just going to copy that by dragging it down. So I create a new layer and I'm just going to call that Liquify. And I'm going to use the whole image initially, even though I will only need a square. So go down to Filter at the top and go down and you'll find Liquify. So what it will do is open up another screen where you'll be manipulating the image. So what I like to do is take the brush tool size up so that it's kind of like the same height as my image. So I think it's probably around that mark, maybe just a little bit bigger. Keep the pressure 51, density 32. Don't really change much here because I just want to start to play with liquefying the image. So just clicking and starting to drag your image. Just like to draw some circles. What you will notice is that some of the edges start to drag away and we can massage them back into place in a moment. So you can just push it back up and start to really stretch out the color. So I want my color to really reach down to the bottom and create a nice circular uh, motion. I'm just going to pull this out because I want some dark areas in the bottom corner of my artwork where I'll be putting the name of the artwork. And you can just play with um, your image. So I find that images that have nice strong contrast work best with Liquify, um, but it just depends on what, what look you're going for. And you can just massage back up into the corners. What I like to do too is just uh, get to a stage where you don't actually recognize the, the image. Take your brush down a little bit so you can start to work in some more detail. Maybe pull through some other shapes. And you can see how it works with a mesh and it will give you a really lovely um, finish and not um, show blurry bits at all. You can keep playing for as long as you like. I think we've got some interesting things happening there. So I might just stop there. As tempted as I, as I am to keep carrying on and keep drawing will just go okay and there's your artwork what I'm going to do now is just crop that so that I have a square so using my crop tool I'm 
be a little bit smaller in a moment. Hold down shift with your cup tool to be able to keep it a perfect square. And there we go. And then I'm going to add some type. So looking at my layers, I have my liquify there. I'm just going to save this. And call it blend cover and go OK. And then go to my type tool. I'll be adding some type. So I'm going to call my, my band is called um, blend. Just going to drag my type and just type the word blend. I'm going to change that to font able. So it's not for tall and change it to about 300 point. Bring it up a little bit more and then just drag it down into place. So it creates a new layer. We're going to create uh, the album name and this is just going to be called Future Sound. And take that down to about 72. And change it to Arial. And make it a bold. There you go. And just put it into place. So there we have the start of our album cover. I'm just going to line that up. And just press save. Perfect. So I want to save this as a flattened JPEG. So just go save as. And save it as a JPEG. Go OK. And then we can close the layered PSD file and then open up our JPEG. The best thing I want to do here is uh, copy it into my library and that way I can use it on different artworks. So if you open up your library, with your artwork open, you just want to take that and drag it into your library. And I'm just going to call that artwork. And there it's saved. So I can drag it into other applications and um, other images and mockups. So I can close that now. I don't need that anymore. Uh, the Blend Vinyl Record and Cover is a PSD mockup, and this I've supplied the, the resource in your brief. So you can download this for free. If you look at your layers, you'll see I have my background, which is my green. So you can change this background just by double clicking on the green color and um, Choosing a new cover. I'm going to keep it the green um, and then you'll see there's my cover. The envelope is the slightly transparent um, sleeve that the record goes into to protect it. And then the vinyl disc, which we'll also be doing. So if we go to the cover, you'll see a smart layers where it says uh, put your design here. Double click on that. Uh, don't worry about the fonts that they've used. We're going to delete those. Uh, all those layers and go yes and then go to our library and just drag our artwork into onto our design go okay and then we can just save that close that up and then it would have applied our artwork to the vinyl sleeve and now we can go through the various smart layers and apply the image to each one. So I'll do the envelope next. Um, double click on put your design here. Don't worry about the fonts. I'm just going to delete that. Go yes. Go to my library, drag my artwork into my sleeve. And I'm just going to scale it up. We find an in interesting area and go save. Close that layer up, and then we have it applied. You can also play, play with the 
transparency of that layer. Um, you can drag it down a little bit so that you can see more of the record. Drag down the transparency in the envelope folder and you can see more of the record sharing through just for an interesting effect. So with the actual vinyl record in the center of the vinyl record, I've got some artwork um, set up in Illustrator. So if we go back to Illustrator, um, we've got the vinyl center. So there we have our album name. We can again just go to our libraries and drag our artwork into the page. I'm going to send it to the back by holding down Command Shift and one of the top brackets. I've got enough artwork here just to do something interesting. So I'll just use it like that. And select the circle. Make sure I've ungrouped this circle. Yeah. Select the circle and my artwork and then go Command 7 and I'll place it into my circle. And then I'm just going to change that to a white so we can read it. Select all my type, go to color, change it to white. There we go. And press save. Again, I can go to my libraries and just select all my artwork on this page and drag it into my library. Once it's there, I can call it Final Center. Go OK. And when I go back into Photoshop, I'll be able to drag that into my artwork. Go back to your layers, go to your vinyl disk. There's my design area. Open that up. Double click on put your design here. And I'm just going to go to my library. Drag that in and we'll just see, oh, the size is pretty perfect. I'll just get my layers and just delete these ones. Select both of them and save that. Command S, close that up and I should have my new artwork in my vinyl record. So there we go. So we can make sure we save this. So you have it saved and you can save it as a JPEG. And then very quickly how to apply this to Android and to desktop views. So we have our playlist, now playing, and desktop. Now these mock-ups are supplied in a resource. You can download them from Spotify to apply your artwork. So we'll do the desktop first. So that's what you will get if you select the no background option. It comes as a PNG. You can also have it with a white background or with a color background. They supply that. Again, what we'll do here is grab our artwork, our square artwork, and just drag it onto the screen. And we have it as a layer. Now what I want to do, in case I have uh, many different uh, designs to show to the client, or I want to change the artwork to show different albums, I'm going to convert this artwork layer here to a smart object. And that way, whatever I do to this layer, um, it will apply it to any other um, artwork I, I place within that smart layer. So we're just going to scale this down, edit, transform, scale. Uh, we're just going to hold down Option and Shift and scale it down. Edit, transform, scale. Scale it down. And we can save that. I'm going to save it into my final Spotify. And go to save. Now what will happen if I want to change the artwork, I can just double click on my smart layer. And I can drag in new artwork. So we'll just do something as an example. I'll just drag in this previous design. Save that, place it, and save. And it will replace my artwork in my design. I'll just go Command Z. Um, an important detail is just to 
obviously change the playlist and you can just select around discover weekly and because it's all a black same color background you can just use your eyedropper tool to select the background go onto your layers make sure you're in the layer zero and delete it there and a good font to use is Helvetica can you um, to mimic the Spotify um, font, so I'll just call it Blend. And Helvetica can you thin about 67? So a bit of Helvetica can you. Select thin and about 67 point will work with this uh, mock-up and make sure we've got it white and go okay right. <laughs> and make sure you don't have any uh, white kerning on your on your letters make sure they're sitting at zero and there we go blend feature sound And that'll do the job. There you go. And save. And so we can go through our different. Um, this is our our, left, our iPad, and you can do exactly the same thing. Just go to your artwork and drag it into place. Scale it down. Wait, before we scale it down, we're going to make sure that it's a smart object. So just drag it into screen, place it. Go to your layers. Convert to a smart layer, and that way you can easily change the artwork whenever you need to. Edit transform scale. Drag it into place. And save it. And exactly the same thing with your phone so we can just drag it in there make sure that it's a smart layer and you can change the artwork whenever you like so that concludes our tutorial on Photoshop liquify tool you can have lots of fun with this one um, endless hours of playing with images make sure that you credit any photographers work that you use love to see what you come up with uh, feel free to apply it to other things like packaging stationery you can do really cool stuff with this. Looking forward to seeing what you come up with. Uh, Till next time, from me and Dex, goodbye.